Hepatitis D virus is one of the strangest and most dangerous viruses in the world. Unlike other hepatitis viruses, it cannot survive or spread on its own. It is like a thief that has no tools and must borrow from another virus to do its work. In this case, hepatitis D completely depends on hepatitis B virus to infect people and make copies of itself. Without hepatitis B, hepatitis D is completely harmless. But when the two viruses team up, they become a serious threat to the liver. There are two main ways a person can get hepatitis D. The first is called superinfection, which happens when someone who already has hepatitis B later gets infected with hepatitis D. This makes their liver disease much worse, increasing the risk of severe complications. The second way is called co-infection, where a person gets both viruses at the same time. This can cause serious short-term liver illness, but it is less likely to turn into a long-term disease. Either way, hepatitis D makes hepatitis B much more dangerous, speeding up liver damage and greatly increasing the chances of cirrhosis, liver failure, and liver cancer. What makes hepatitis D even more concerning is how easily it spreads. Just like hepatitis B, it is transmitted through blood and bodily fluids. This means it can be passed on through unprotected sex, sharing needles, or from an infected mother to her baby at birth. In some regions of the world, particularly in parts of Africa, Asia, and Eastern Europe, hepatitis D is a serious public health problem because many people already have hepatitis B without knowing it. Right now, there is no cure for hepatitis D, although scientists are working hard to find better treatments. However, the best news is that it can be completely prevented. Since hepatitis D cannot exist without hepatitis B, getting vaccinated against hepatitis B automatically protects a person from hepatitis D as well. This simple and widely available vaccine is the most powerful weapon against both viruses. Other ways to stay safe include avoiding shared needles, practicing safe sex, and ensuring medical tools are properly sterilized. Hepatitis D is like an unwanted guest that crashes the party only if hepatitis B lets it in. By stopping hepatitis B, we can stop hepatitis D in its tracks. If you found this information helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating and easy to understand health insights. Stay safe and take care of your liver.